Hello, hi everyone. I'm Shekhar from Momentum Lab. Today is 3rd of May 2025. And in this video, I'm going to do a factor this report. A factor this report usually contains a quick summary of how the factors have performed in the recent past and comparing it with the benchmark index. So till to December 2024, we have done the factor this report using the BSC strategy indices, namely the momentum, low wall, quality and value. Unfortunately, since we didn't have a standardized set of uh, index in NSC, we used BSC. But luckily now in NSC, we have uh, fairly standardized factor indices across the Nifty 500 universe. So those indices are Nifty 500 Momentum 50, Nifty 500 Quality 50, Nifty 500 Value 50, and Nifty 500 Low Wall 50. And uh, to compare these four factor indices, we have Nifty 500 as the benchmark market index. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare uh, going forward, uh, the monthly, yearly, and historically, that is since last 20 years, the returns of these four factors compared with uh, Nifty 500, Nifty 500, and see how are they uh, moving. So let's start with this, uh, this month's report. So let me share my screen and show to you guys uh, what we have. So you can see in this uh, Google sheet, I've already plotted the NAVs of the four indices, Nifty 500 Momentum, Nifty 500 Value, Nifty 500 Low Wall, Nifty 500 Quality versus Nifty 500 uh, from 2nd May 2024 till 2nd May 2025. So you see this is the starting point and right now we are here. So the red colored one or the orange colored one is Nifty 500. The red colored one is Nifty 500 Momentum 50. The blue colored one is Nifty 500 Low Wall 50 and uh, yellow colored one is nifty 500 quality 50 and green one is nifty 500 value 50. So for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to call them as momentum, low wall, quality and value instead of uh, using nifty 500 every time. So the year for the last one year, uh, it started out well by uh, seeing momentum and quality neck and neck. But as time progressed, uh, especially during July times onwards, it became clear that quality was the outperformer. Quality did well from July till Jan, the entire year, uh, from July uh, to Jan uh, 2025. And uh, rest of the other indices were faltering. But one index was clearly in the negative zone already, which was uh, value. And uh, even the momentum, uh, low wall, and uh, Nifty 500 were still hovering in the positive territory. But post Jan 2025, uh, when the severe correction started to happen, slowly all the in, uh, indices moved downward. Uh, so you can see momentum being the first index in the current uh, fiscal year to go in the negative territory. And slowly the Nifty 500 quality went and as well the Nifty 500. But only one index which stayed afloat all across the last one year in positive territory was the blue color line, which is Nifty 500, low wall 50. We might have heard about this uh, story uh, between a tortoise and a hare. The tortoise, which is slow and steady, doesn't get attention, but wins in the longer run. So in a similar fashion, low wall, uh, it doesn't get that much of a limelight because it is uh, not as flashy as momentum or not as counter cyclical as value. It stays somewhere in between and uh, it hides from getting the limelight and but in the end of the day it uh, hogs with uh, best returns so that's what has happened in the last one year if you see nifty low wall has ended at 109 in meaning in the last one year it has given a returns of nine percent whereas nifty 500 has given around five uh, percent returns quality also in a similar range of five uh, percent returns so only these three indices were in the positive territory value is at a negative value of 4% returns in the last one year, whereas momentum right now is at 11% in the negative uh, territory. So that has been uh, the factor performance over the last one year. Now, this is the uh, one year snapshot. Let us also just take a step back and zoom out and see what is the overall picture that is uh, in the last 20 years. The reason I'm taking last 20 years is because that's the publicly available data in uh, NSC website since 2005. So let's see the last 20 years and see how the different uh, strategy indices and Nifty 500 have performed. So it helps us get a good picture of what to expect in a longer run.
so this is the 20 year chart let me zoom in a bit so the same colors again uh, the blue colored is volatility the red colored is 50 uh, momentum 50 and yellow is uh, quality green is value and orange is nifty 500 so as you can see the momentum is the clear outlier in the longer time frame of 20 years and there's nowhere uh, in comparison with risk with any other factors so actually you might not see that uh, huge uh, difference here because the scale is logarithmic so in logarithmic the uh, function is not stepwise it actually happens uh, based on the quantum of uh, percentage jump so this from here to here is 500 uh, then 5x and from here to here it is 2x and here to here it is 5x so the quantum is not uh, linearly represented the reason i chose uh, log graph is because if we choose a normal graph we what happens is that uh, since the recent numbers are too big in uh, uh, in comparison to the earlier numbers the earlier uh, data points will never be clearly visible we'll only be seeing the final uh, recent numbers what is what is the movement but if you actually see let's say an index if it has gone up from 100 to 200 is the same as going from 1000 to 2000 it has just doubled but the quantum of showing from 1000 to 2000 is much bigger whereas going from 100 to 200 that 100 to 200 gets dwarfed in a normal uh, graph that's why i choose uh, logarithmic graph so when you see the logarithmic graph you get the earlier movements also pretty clear now if you see in this graph that uh, one thing as as i mentioned momentum is a clear out, uh, out outlier the second thing is value value does bad even bad than the nifty 500 index in multiple occasions let's say even during the uh, 2003 to 2008 bull run it underperformed the uh, nifty 500 and when the markets were again sideways post the global financial crisis from 2011 onwards till 2014 again uh, value underperformed the uh, nifty 500 and again post uh, during the covid crash also it underperformed the nifty 500 so there are bouts of underperformance within nifty uh, within the value where it uh, goes below nifty 500 but momentum doesn't uh, falter below usually below uh, the nifty uh, 500 so far there has never been an instance where they both have uh, converged they've already always tried to diverge now if you see the second best uh, index after momentum it is a tough competition between momentum uh, a tough competition between low wall and quality both trying to get the uh, second position uh, uh, for consistently since 2005 uh, here and there they try to uh, outsmart uh, the other strategy but uh, on if you see their neck to neck basis of late recently the value started to do extremely good and is giving tough competition to uh, low wall and uh, quality so that is the la larger picture of uh, 20 years now while the graph looks good let's also see the one year rolling returns so in my previous videos i used to show three year and five year returns but since we have completed one year for momentum lab i wanted to show do a one-year analysis of how does a one-year rolling return of these uh, strategy indices perform over the last 20 years so this is the data of last uh, uh, 20 uh, years of one-year rolling return for these five different strategies so you again i've split this into uh, three different ways the bottom 25th percentile median and top 75th percentile meaning let's say if we take uh, the last uh, for the last 20 years we get uh, one year rolling returns for different time periods now if we stack up all these returns and pick the bottom 25th percentile one year rolling returns median and the top seven, top 25th percentile then it will give us a good sense of how spread or how uh, the diverge, uh, dispersion is among the returns so if you see the uh, low wall so the rolling returns of one year the 25th percentile is at 6.64 whereas the 75th percentile is 32.13 so that much huge dispersion is there between the one year uh, rolling returns so first let's compare uh, the bottom 25th percentile meaning let's say if you are the unlucky investor you've invested in uh, any one of the strategies and held for one year 
if you are unlucky let's say that say you are falling in the bottom 25th percentile and then what could have been your returns so that's what this says about so except for value rest all you make uh, some positive returns value actually you end up getting minus 10% returns if you are in the bottom 25th percentile uh, nifty 500 is at 2.35 and you see momentum also getting an equal amount of returns 2.2.44 uh, for a uh, one year rolling return in the bottom 25th percentile low world does really good it gets around 6.64% and then comes quality at 3.15 now let's take a look at the median uh, returns median one year rolling returns the first thing to notice is nifty 500 is at 13.34 uh, we have usually seen nifty 50 nifty 500 for the last uh, 20 years their cagr or one year rolling returns has been uh, somewhere around 13 to 14% so that's what it connotes and in here low wall does ne- uh, better it uh, has around 15.96 and then quality at 16.57 the winners here are value and momentum they clock around 20% in an average case if you stay invested for uh, one year with uh, any of these uh, two strategies momentum or value in the average case you end up getting 20% returns that's what history has shown if you are lucky if you are in the top uh, 25th percentile and uh, you you see that the returns can go massively up so nifty 500 Uh, in the top 50th percentile, top 75th percentile has given uh, 31.7%, and momentum did fantastically well. It gave 53.25, and then comes Nifty Value 48.78, and then again we see that quality and low wall do consistently well, but not as good as momentum and value. They are at 33.3%. So there are three inferences that we can make from here. One is that while if things are good in a bull case. we see that momentum and value do fantastically well if things are decently okay again yes uh, even momentum and value do well so that's the first insight the second insight in the worst case value doesn't do well there's no protection downside protection it goes into negative territory whereas momentum still holds fort it at least delivers as much as what the uh, indices try to give that's the second insight the third insight is low wall is a silent winner it scores across all the three uh, categories of if you if you're unlucky if you're lucky or if you're on moderate whatever be the time period or the date of entry that you make low wall is a uh, silent winner it tries to uh, be better than value and uh, lesser than momentum but definitely better than uh, the nifty 500 uh, index so that's the third insight if you see the risk for reward that is if you take the average median one year return divided by the volatility uh, and if we see for all the other you see that the best risk for reward is with low wall strategy that is for a unit of risk that you're taking the returns that you get are highest in low wall and as you can see low wall obviously has the lowest volatility as compared to other strategies uh, quality is next in terms of low volatility and then comes uh, nifty 500 and then momentum and Uh, lastly value value does poor in uh, volatility and in times of uh, uh, uncertainty or bad conditions it does uh, pretty bad in terms of good conditions it does well so while it is on par with momentum in base case or in median case or in the best case but it is not on par with momentum in the worst case because of which uh, the value is not as good as momentum in the overall returns so momentum is able to pull up and up because in good times it does well but in the bad times it decently well it doesn't go into the negative territory but if the moment a strategy goes into a negative territory it erodes whatever gains it has accumulated over the previous months or quarters or years so that is the unfortunate uh, thing with value uh, if you are not getting the timing right with value actually it might erode value so value is a purely cyclical kind of a strategy and uh, someone who is expert or uh, or has uh, good uh, research backing then it makes sense on how to enter and when to exit but safe strategies are uh, the remaining now let's also compare uh, the one year rolling returns of all these five strategies so what i have observed is that there is a cyclicality in the rolling one year returns as well so you see at every four year interval 
the returns peak and then they go down and again again they peak so starting from let's say 2006 and then again another peak to 2008 and then the next peak happened 2010 and then the next peak happened 2014 and then uh, in 2017 and then next peak happened in 2021 and the next peak in uh, 2024 so around 3 to 5 years or roughly 4 years there's a cyclicality in the uh, peaks of these strategy indices right now where are we we are somewhere at the bottom does that mean that is the right time to enter into strategies maybe may not be the reason i'm saying may not be is because while the history says that uh, these are the right times to enter but it, if you see actually the periods of uh, periods of underperformance or pe- periods of uh, muted performance can continue for a longer period if, you, if you, let's say you see from 2011 to 2015 even though we are, we were at the lows the strategy indices did not deliver much returns uh during this period same is the case even uh, 26 2017 to 2020 it can stay low for a quite a period of time yes there might be limited downside significant upside but it might not happen immediately so that's the key takeaway that we have from the one year rolling returns so to summarize when we zoom in and see the one year performance momentum did uh, bad uh, value did bad the saving grace is low ball and quality in the uh, last one year if you zoom out and see the bigger picture momentum does well low ball and quality hold good quality is not that great and uh, we also see that the risk per unit of uh, reward per unit of risk is the highest in low ball so that's it for this month's uh, factor this report in the next month we'll again see which factors have did well and which factors have not done well so if you are interested to see what are the uh index funds available or the etfs available for these uh respective indices you can always go to the uh passive uh india passive funds.com this is a website maintained by nse and in here you can check uh the screener which is uh maintained by the nse you can type let's say the benchmark source and underlying index let's say we type uh, momentum 500 okay and you just click on apply filters you see what all are available let's say there are only two etfs for nifty 500 momentum 50 etf let's type something else and see let's type uh, nifty 500 low wall there is nothing for low wall let's see what is there for value value there is one etf so that's the challenge while the indices have been published by uh nsc not much index funds or etfs are available so we have to rely on whatever that we have so let's type uh, quality quality is also not available all right thank you guys